Over the years, China has made significant strides in the realm of IT technologies, prompting alarm among U.S. policymakers. Notably, a substantial portion of the world's cutting-edge microchips is manufactured in Taiwanese facilities under the auspices of TSMC. This fact has led some to speculate that if China were to gain control of these crucial production plants, it could become the new OPEC of silicon chips, wielding immense power to influence the global economy. Is China's pursuit of technological supremacy a legitimate cause for concern in the U.S. chip sector, or is it an overblown threat that could be mitigated through cooperation and diplomacy? Join us as we find out how the U.S. chip sector is in danger as China chooses to wage war and destroy. Competition in the semiconductor industry has been heating up lately. Semiconductors, often called chips, are crucial for many important technologies like 5G, AI, self-driving cars, and the Internet of Things (IoT). These technologies play a vital role in modern warfare and even defense departments are keen to have access to them as military operations become more automated and digital. Pat Gelsinger, the CEO of Intel Corporation, testified before the Senate in March 2022, highlighting how the need for semiconductors has surged due to increased digitalization, especially in the last few years. This surging demand has caused a significant shortage of semiconductors worldwide. The 2022 annual report of the U.S.-based Semiconductor Industry Association revealed that the rapid shift to digital connectivity, driven by the pandemic, along with fluctuations in chip demand for products like cars, created a supply-demand gap felt worldwide. Countries that have the capability to produce semiconductors are in a better position to control the global market. The United States and some of its partner countries have been leading the way in this regard, but other nations are also starting to invest in this field. China, recognizing the pivotal role of semiconductors in various sectors, including the military, has made a massive investment of 1 trillion yuan, or approximately 1.45 billion US dollars. The US chip sector finds itself at a critical crossroads as China's relentless pursuit of technological supremacy raises concerns in Washington. The Biden administration had a plan to keep the U.S. ahead in making computer chips. They wanted to make it hard for China to get the most advanced computer chips. In August 2022, President Joe Biden signed a law called the Chips and Science Act. This law aimed to boost the production of advanced computer chips in the United States. Just two months later, the White House made rules that stopped China from getting the best computer chips. These rules were meant to give the United States an advantage in a global fight to be the best in an industry that's becoming more and more important. But things aren't going well for the U.S. For a few years now, computer chips have been a big part of the global economy. Nowhere is this more evident than in China, where they import more chips than even oil. Computer chips, of different levels of complexity, are crucial for our everyday gadgets, like smartphones and computers. But the super-advanced chips that the Biden administration put restrictions on are super important. These chips are crucial for supercomputers, which help solve complicated problems in fields like climate modeling, healthcare research, and national defense. They're also the power behind some of the world's most powerful computers, which help make breakthroughs that we couldn't achieve otherwise. Artificial intelligence AI, is one of the most exciting technologies of our time. Advanced computer chips play a big role in training and running AI models, making them faster and more efficient. This tech has far-reaching impacts from self-driving cars to healthcare diagnostics. While the United States wanted to keep its grip on advanced computer chip technology, China has stepped up its efforts in this field. China is not only working on cutting-edge processors, but is also becoming more competitive in making older types of computer chips and designing them. This is a big challenge to the U.S. plan to stop China from getting advanced chips. China is getting better at making the older chips that are still really important. China understands the importance of not depending too much on other countries for these chips. By improving its skills in making older chips, China aims to be more independent and less vulnerable. China is also investing a lot in designing computer chips. This is a crucial part of the computer chip industry because the design decides how well the chip works. 
China's progress in chip design is a threat to the U.S.'s leadership in technology and could give China more control over the parts used in its tech products. Considering China's determined response to U.S. restrictions, it's becoming more likely that the U.S. will have to fight the chip war on two fronts. They will need to make it harder for advanced chip production and at the same time, deal with China's growing strength in making older chips and designing new ones. The United States will have to keep tightening its controls on the export of advanced chip production. These measures have a specific purpose to restrict China's access to cutting-edge technology, which plays a critical role in fields such as supercomputing, artificial intelligence, and high-performance applications. To address the growing advantage China has gained in legacy chip manufacturing and chip design, the United States must significantly invest in research and development. This investment goes beyond merely funding scientific endeavors, it also involves creating an environment that fosters innovation and collaboration between the tech industry and academic institutions. These collaborations are essential to ensure that the United States maintains a competitive edge in the fast-evolving world of technology. In stark contrast, China has been making substantial investments in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM education, Chinese policies encourage children to become enthusiastic about science and mathematics from an early age, and the country is creating more opportunities for students to excel in these fields. A key concern is that the United States may be falling behind in fostering STEM education and retaining the brightest talent. If the U.S. fails to address these issues, it risks losing its competitive edge in the tech industry. Encouraging STEM education is not just a matter of educational policy. The U.S. must stay at the forefront of innovation and technological leadership. Additionally, creating an environment where top talent is enticed to stay within the United States is equally important. This involves offering competitive salaries, providing exciting job opportunities, and fostering a supportive culture that values innovation. In the grand scheme of things, China's determined efforts to enhance the chip industry have left the United States struggling to maintain its dominance in the chip market. China has emerged as a formidable competitor, and the United States has, in large part, relied on imposing sanctions as its strategy. Despite a year of applying sanctions on China, the U.S. has yet to acknowledge the limitations and ineffectiveness of this approach. Some observers speculate that the U.S.'s intention may not necessarily be to secure victory against China, but rather to create challenges and obstacles for China, even if this approach results in a perceived loss in the ongoing technological competition. If this is really a chip war between U.S. and China, who do you think has the expertise and resources to win this war?